<laughs> What's going on guys? Manchester United 3, Watford nil. This is your match reaction sponsored by the One Football app for all your up-to-date footballing news. Make sure you scroll down into the description and download that blood. I remember last time I spoke to you, man, I told you about the Innocence movies, fam. Listen, them man patterned it. Like, they hollered at me on Instagram. You know what I'm saying? And I've moved now. Like, this will be one of the last times you see me filming in this setting. That's why all the gloves are now gone. I've moved all my stuff, bro. Um, but I paid for this place at the end of the month, so I'm using it. You know, like that. But man's moved out. Innocence down the road. So, yeah. It's patterned right next to my new place. I told you, boy. Like, put it out there into the atmosphere. Speak into existence, boy. I just tagged them on Instagram. I was like, yo, I'm always always promoting your shit. You, you man need to just make me an ambassador and that. Two twos now. They hollered at me and was like, yo, what's your address? So, I said, now nah, I'll go pick it up. So, now, man's getting my smoothies as well. Life is great, guys. Life is great. Wild, I got knocked out as well. Sensational. Like, yeah, so it's been a good day for man. And it's the four-year anniversary of Ransom Bants as well. Like, I uploaded my first video four years ago today. Whatever the date is, I don't know. It's in my diary, innit? Like, men always forget anniversaries. So I put it in my diary. I didn't even know until... I didn't even know till today. I'm not going to lie. But yeah, it's my four-year anniversary. So happy anniversary to me, blood. And thank everyone that's been supporting, man, from the beginning. All the people that just... Found out who I am now, last week, last year, whatever. I appreciate all of you. And this is a sensational smoothie. It tastes even better when you don't pay for it. Okay. So, two weeks out to the fight. Exactly two weeks. This time, in two weeks' time, I will be dancing in, um, in the changing room. Getting ready to win this title. That's what's going down. So um, the GoFundMe page is in the description. So make sure you go down there and donate if you haven't already. And also, if you want to come to the fight, fight ticket description. Fight ticket link is in the description as well. Okay, let's get to the game. Man like Gunwood, bruv. I'm just so happy, innit? All my guys showed up today, innit? Man like Bruno, obviously, done Bruno things. MDL, Martial Defence League, bro. You see all you man that were talking smack about Martial? Come outside, innit? Come outside. And then Gunwood just doing Gunwood things. I can't believe this geezer cannot get a game under Oli, but Daniel James, that fraud, blood. Man should call him Hamuel James, blood. That's what it is, that ham sandwich baller, fam. Man like Hamuel James, blood. Um, it was just a good day for, for them, man, there. Do you know what I'm saying? I was very happy for them. I thought Watford started very well. United were poor, if I'm honest. Um, all the goals came pretty much from, like, glimpses of individual brilliance. Like, I'm still yet to see Manchester United score, like, an amazing team goal because there's no cohesion, there's no pattern. And we were under the cosh at the beginning. I can't even lie. Watford were all over us. And um, they probably should have been 2-0 up by the time United won the penalty, which Bruno finessed. Bruv, that nice little hop. Love it, bruv. Do you know what I mean? Jorginho is a B-Tech Bruno fam. That's just what it is. That little hot penalty is a madness. Sent the keeper for a Mars bar and that. So, nah, it was beautiful, man. Um, it was probably under the um, against the run of play when we got the goal. Who cares? But um, that's what I would say. The most worrying thing about Manchester United now is it just seems that we're literally relying on individuals to drag us and... It's worrying, but then it's actually exciting for me because when we actually get a good manager in with the players that we've got, we can make no mistake about it, yeah? I'll start in 11. If we've got De Gea, Bailly, Maguire, Shaw, Wambasaka, Fred, Pogba, Bruno, Rashford, Martial, um, and we'll say, we could say Greenwood, do you know what I'm saying? Or we could even say Rashford, Martial, or we could say Agalo, Martial, Rashford, or whatever. Like, bro, that team's all right. That team's actually all right, you know. So, it's just a bit of a mad one. Apart from right mid, like, anyone can kind of have that. You can do the Agalo, Rashford, Martial thing, or you could do the Martial down the middle, um, Greenwood on the left, Rashford to the... No, Greenwood on the right, Rashford to the left. You look at that starting eleven. that's giving people problems, you know. That's actually giving people problems. Our starting eleven is not too bad, like. 
And then you bring in a first choice right winger into that form in, into that team and move Greenwood out to the bench, all of a sudden you're like boom, you imagine you put a Sancho on that right hand side. And it's Sancho, Rashford, Martial, Fred, Pogba, Bruno, Bailly, Lindelof. No, Lindelof. Bailly, um, Maguire, Shaw, Wambataka, De Gea. That's a team that's meant to challenge. It is, bruv. That team is meant to challenge, bruv. So that's what I'm saying. So I was happy, man. I was happy that the individuals are showing me that there is quality there and they just need to be coached. When you look at Manchester United play, you can't tell... Well, actually, you can tell that these men are just chipping bins in... Chipping the ball into the bin in training because that's it. The football's rubbish, bruv. So, like, the whole bin thing makes sense. Um, it's just... Yeah, just one of them things. All them men that were on Martial's back. Roy Keane, that pagan, bruv. Man don't know nothing, in it. He was a great captain, but he's a crap manager for a reason, bruv. He don't know nothing about football, bruv. He doesn't. Do you know what I'm saying? He, he's a flat track bully, innit? That's what he does. When you watch him as a pundit, he just bullies people in um in the studio. You never hear Roy Keane talk about anything tactical, nothing analytical. All he does is just insult people, bruv, because he doesn't know anything to do with tactics and all these other things. That's why he's a crap manager, bro, and you've seen it. Do you know what I mean? He just thinks he can go in there and just bully people and, and fire shots at people. Man saying, oh, that's why Martial is not a Manchester United striker. But then you get Van Persie coming out saying, yo, Martial's quality. And then look at the goal Martial scored today. He's the only player on the whole pitch that could have scored a goal like that. And that just looked like a piss take that you just do in training. Like, for him to have the close control, the awareness, and then just the sheer audacity to dink the goalkeeper from there. And you know what was most telling to me was that when Martial scored that goal, nobody looked shocked. Like, Greenwood came out after the game and said, oh, Martial just doing what Martial does. Because they see this guy do this in training every single day. But then people want to try and put slander on Martial's name. He's got more goals than Rashford, yeah? Um, if you take the penalties away in less minutes. So all these people going on saying that Martial's having a crap season, but Rashford's having a great season. Rashford has scored less goals from open play and has the same number of assists than Martial, who's been out injured for over two months more than Rashford so actually uh, Martial's having a better season but you know what I mean don't let the stats get in the way of your agenda in it so brilliant um today from Tony and then as for Gunwood bruv Gunwood 2020 it's beautiful like the the intricate like the one two with Bruno and then to get it out of your feet and then Mr Whippy 99 chicken zinger off the under underside of the crossbar do you know what I mean and again What's telling about Mason Greenwood is he can be quiet in a game and then he can turn up and do that, man. Gunmen doing what gunmen do, bruv. And he just he just a gunman, isn't it? And then on top of that, he doesn't even really celebrate goals. You can tell that he's born to play for Manchester United. He's an absolute shooter, bruv. Man whipped the, the ball off the underside of the crossbar and lied down on the floor and was like, yo, I've got cramped stretch, man. Normal. Normal. That's the kind of man that you need to be starting in your team, not Daniel James, bruv. Do you know what I mean? Like, man, ugh. I just don't, innit? I just don't. It was one of them ones. I'm not even going to talk too much about James, innit? Because he just threw up another one out of ten like he always does. Like, he's getting more minutes for Manchester United than he probably would have got in the championship. Because if he stayed where he was, he probably wouldn't be playing week in, week out. That's the funny thing about it. Um, you look at other players. Luke Shaw was steady today. Again, defensively, I don't think his reading of the game can be questioned, innit? That's never been something I've questioned about him. I've always questioned his attitude, his athleticism and his attacking contributions. But in terms of reading of the game, he almost he almost plays like a centre back. And that's it's a compliment and it's not. Do you know what I mean? Because it's like you're a left back, bro. Like get forward, get down the byline, put crosses in. Wan Basaka put some good crosses in today. Didn't come for, come to anything. And when Bissaka gets criticised a lot because they're saying, oh, he's not, he doesn't offer much going forward. But he offers more than Luke Shaw. And nobody talks about what Luke Shaw offers going forward, bruv, because that's another agenda, innit? But the facts are, defensively, Luke Shaw is pretty sound, innit? He is. He's not as good as Wan-Bissaka defensively, but he's good defensively. But he's not as good as Wan-Bissaka going forward either. And Wan-Bissaka is a guy that is not really an attacking player. So... I just think that Luke Shaw just needs to improve the attack inside of the game. And I think that having a manager in that will make him attack because it's the patterns 
could just improve his all-around game. And then I won't be too pissed about him being there because we're stuck with him. Let's face it, he just signed a new deal. As much as I feel like we need a new left-back, we're not going to get one, in it. So I think we need a new manager to get the best out of Luke Shaw. Um, but I was impressed with him today. I was. And when I say I was impressed with him, it's like he didn't do anything to make me think, right, sure, whatever, he's crap, innit? And yeah, he's on a decent run of form. I'd say the last three games I've seen him play, he's looked decent. Harry Maguire was all right. Lindelof's rubbish. Um, the guy gives me he gives me heart palpitations every time I see him play. I think he's he's awful. Um, wan Bissaka did what wan Bissaka does. Fred had a good game today. Not a great game, just a good game. Do you know what I mean? By his standards, it was just an okay game. Um, Watford were taking advantage of the fact that United don't move the ball quickly in midfield and also the movement of the front three is not very good. And they were sticking it on Fred, like really pressing him, pressing him like and getting him to make mistakes. And that was down to great, great coaching from Watford, if I'm honest, and also a very, uh, poor lack of movement. Daniel James and Mason Greenwood's movement off the ball, not very good. Um, Mason's movement off the ball in attacking areas not in attacking area, sorry, in the box is very good. But in other areas of the field, like when he's playing on, on the right, he needs to be a bit more imaginative. Do you know what I'm saying? Like a lot of the time, Mason kind of, he's not an outlet when he plays on that right-hand side because he doesn't quite know when to come, when to stay. And he, that's not his position. He's learning that. But Daniel James has been playing out wide for long enough and he don't offer nothing out wide as well. So... The midfielders don't really have outlets there and they take extra touches. Pogba's guilty of it. Fred's guilty of it. Match is guilty of it. The only difference is Pogba and Fred will try and pass forward and possibly lose it. Whereas Match will just go backwards and do the safe thing in it. Which is equally as frustrating. You know what I mean? So, like, the movement in the final third from the strikers needs to improve across the board. And I think that that's going to come with coaching. We don't need to do Daniel James. Man's done that already, bruv. It's just going to turn into a, an agenda, bruv, and people are going to get upset. Um, other than the goal, Mason was relatively quiet, but again, Mason does what he does. Do you know what I mean? Even if he's not in the game, most of the time, neat touches, one touch, decent movement, give and goes and all of that. But he can be quiet in a game. Again, I really don't mind that because when he does get his chances, this guy is clinical. And then obviously, you've you got Bruno Fernandes. Bruv. Everything he does, he just oozes class, isn't it? He oozes class. Like, it's a mad thing. It's, it's just mad. Like, everything from 5-yard pass, 10-yard pass, shot, cross, everything he does just has an element of quality, like, attached to it. He's exactly what we needed. Mark tweeted, if we got him in the summer, we'd have been challenging for the title. Obviously, it was tongue-in-cheek, innit? But to think that if we started the league, the season with Bruno Fernandes, we'd probably comfortably be in the top four now and we would be saying, you know what, we've got top four, we've got Champions League. Because that's how good he is. That's the difference he's made to our team. I think that's three men of the matches um, awards this guy's got now. He's the real deal. And I love to see him with Pogba and Fed because he tries to play that ball in behind. A few times he tried to clip it in there. And if you've got his creativity... And Pogba's, and you've also seen him breaking into the box to win the penalty. Like, brilliant, brilliant signing. Absolute masterstroke, man. So, very happy. Um, and obviously, Martial done some good things today. Again, it wasn't one of his best games, but it didn't need to be. That's three goals in three games, bro. Like, Tony's a problem. He just needs to stay fit, get a run of games, and Tony will do what Tony does, innit? So, all in all... Even though the, I thought the game was rubbish and I thought there were spells that we could have been out of the game before before we went ahead. Pff, bruv, but I thought we three points of Chelsea. I'm happy, innit? Like, how can you not be happy? Like, I could sit here and pick apart this United performance because it wasn't good. But I prefer not to today. Do you know what I mean? I really prefer not to today. Um, Wild of Fury, bruv. Like, I'm happy about that. I'm happy United won. Do you know what I mean? I think Arsenal won as well. Not that anyone cares. Will they move up to 11th or something? I'm oh, 11th, blood. You know what I'm saying? And they want to talk rubbish. Like, leave it out. So, all in all, it's been a good day for man. Let me know um, who your man of the match is. I'm not going to do one because 
I just don't see the point in it. Like, I don't think anyone stood out for me, really. Like, you can make arguments for Bruno because he got a goal and assist. You can make arguments for Martial because that goal was ridiculous. But I don't think anyone stood out for me. Point out, like, tell me what your highlights are um, of the game. What positives did you see? What negatives did you see? Like, let me know because I saw a lot of negatives. I'm not even going to lie. And that was all to do with team play, lack of cohesion, all of that. But the positives are definitely that we're seeing that the quality is in the players. A lot of people are making excuses for Oli and other people and actually talking down how good our players are. And I don't like it, bruv, because we've got some decent players, you know. They're just not being coached. So, all in all, like, guys, I'm happy. Like, I'm happy, man. This was only about the three points because had Watford's goal not been disallowed, yeah, and it's 1-1, one, one, and we're under the cost, and we end up losing a game. We're looking again, saying, that's another game. We've dropped stupid points. So at this present moment, I'm not going to, I'm not going to dwell on what we don't have. I think a lot of you that are quite well-versed in what we don't have now, isn't it? But we're coming up to March. It's just all about just getting over the line, isn't it? We've got a few months of football left. It's all about just getting as many points on the board as possible. And... Yeah, we're kind of on route to doing that. I don't want to jinx it, but it could happen. That was your match review, guys. Make sure you keep it interactive, man. Get the comments in there. Let me know how you're feeling about today, generally. And then if you watch the boxing and you want to let me know, let me know too. Like, I'm building my studio soon as well in my new place. Once that's up, I'm going to be doing live streams for, like, the boxing and stuff like that. Because Seconds Out asked me to do it on their channel. I'm just like, yo... I'm going to live stream on my own channel. I'm going to be um, live streaming, gaming as well, um, FIFA, Fortnite, starting my Twitch. I've got so many different things coming, yeah, to the channel. You know what I mean? So, understand it's the fourth year anniversary today, but it's only just going to be more content, more hard work, like more different things for you lot to enjoy, man. So, I appreciate all the support, all of that. Um, yeah, let me know what you lot are saying in terms of the game but as i said i'm happy mdl bruv martial defense league you know what it is man make sure you follow the socials twitter and um instagram rants and bants and yeah man we'll see you guys whew, for the flex and rant show or for rants red talk whichever one comes first i've got a super busy week filming again with espn on Tuesday, um, Tuesday and Wednesday, I'm, I'm traveling for this one. So you're going to be excited to see what we do here. It's going to be some good stuff, man. So yeah, it's, it's a busy week, but I'm going to, I'm going to get that content out for you. Peace guys. <laughs>